What's going on, everyone? Chris Jarzik, your Southwest Florida real estate advisor. I changed it from realtor to advisor because I give a lot of advice on houses. And as you can see, we are in front of a large one. Karen's inside filming for her social media. She does amazing short form content for TikTok and Reels. Uh, I can post her stuff down below, but do not leave until you finish watching this video because if you jump to another platform, YouTube hates me and then they don't push my videos out and then no one sees them and then no one buys real estate or lists with me and then I just don't do any business. So don't do that. But I can put her stuff down below if you like. She's got some amazing short form content and People will commonly argue with her and I about, you can't insure this house. Oh my God, Florida doesn't have insurance. There's so much false information out there, guys. So if you have questions about real estate, insurance, anything else, give us a call. We can point you in the direction of a wonderful insurance agent. I actually did an insurance video with Scott. I can post that down in the link below. Uh, this is a long intro for a large property. As you see there, huge garage there i'm going to walk you guys through this beautiful house a larger two-car garage behind me this is a three bedroom two and a half bath and that little room right there it'll make sense when i show you in the video that room there is what we could call a mother-in-law suite or a man cave of sorts it attaches to this it uh, definitely would make a great uh, movie room or poker room or billiard room, whatever you decide to do with it. Man cave, kids play area, but this one is definitely unique, pardon me. So we've got a three bedroom, two and a half bath, 2200 square foot pool home with this massive RV garage. I would personally turn it into a fitness center. Well, not a fitness center for people to come, but my own personal gym i would definitely do that but that is me you may do with it what you like i'm going to go ahead and flip the camera around take you guys on the tour and we'll check back in with you when the tour is let me over. know when we're rolling 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 all right come on in i'll close the door behind you karen is done filming her social media stuff guys I'll put her links in the description below. Here we are, and you're going to hear a smoke detector every 30 seconds-ish, and there's a fly that got in. So here we have your entryway. So coming on in, we've got a beautiful entryway, high ceilings. We've got your dining area here. I know everybody's dying to get to the extra room in the garage. But we're gonna we're gonna delay that as long as we can so here's your main living area with your dining area <clears throat> we've got a large kitchen island here and a pretty decent amount of counter space as i talked in the last video a lot of people were saying how there's not enough room to prep over here all the prep has to be done on this side that's generally something that's gonna be the norm in Florida. On occasion, you will have more counter space if your fridge isn't located close to your spot there. Deep double sinks with your, I feel like this is what the restaurant industry uses to wash their dishes. Uh, everybody has a different opinion on these. My son loves them because he likes to spray anything and everything he can other than the dishes. So that gets old real quick. Coming over here, we have our guest bathroom. As you can see, we've got nice, heavy glass doors, floor to ceiling tile, and a nice cutout for your soaps and body wash, hair gel, whatever you, whatever you do in the shower, shave cream, etc. No rain shower in here, but it isn't the primary. Uh, dual heads here for your shower. Close that. And then right behind Karen is 
the pool area. She can do her best not to get on this one, but I really did like these. You have kind of a, well, this one doesn't really have too much of a selection. Oh, there we go. So you can, uh, what do you want to call it? Turn off so that it doesn't fog up. You have different light settings. What I really love about those mirrors is it shows every blemish that you have and makes you feel really self-conscious. I'm just kidding. I do not like that. What? What did I miss? Oh, yeah. Sorry. Not very common in most households, but uh, we also have floor to ceiling and tile on the wall in here as well. You do have drywall here, though. Sorry, I'm getting, getting yelled at. In here, pretty standard. You guys have heard me talk about bedrooms before. Guest bedroom one, similar size to guest bedroom two. And the breaker is off. They were doing a little bit of work here on the hood earlier, which I will mention in a second. We've got a storage closet here. Not wire racks. These are built in wood. So it's a little bit nicer for you. Probably go with linens and towels because there is a pantry off of, oh my gosh, off of the kitchen. We'll run through this pretty quickly because that beep is getting on my nerves. Uh, as we toured the last house, you'll see uh, that it was just wire racks. Now we've got a little bit more of a California closet set up. Gonna, gonna happen when you least expect it. Oh, that's the other one. Coming on through. <laughs> Uh, this hood here, they will be fixing. They had to rewire something, I was told. And kind of losing my train of thought here with that annoying beeping. Laundry room. We've got washer dryer set up here. That's for your hood. So that will cover that uh, exit pipe for when you are cooking. Uh, no cabinets in here, but we do have the wood shelving to go with it. And we've got our large pantry with the very deep shelving. So you can fit all of your healthy foods and no potato chips and snacks. We'll jump on into the first garage. Slightly oversized two car. You've got a little bit more space coming this way. Usually the standard two car is gonna give you a couple feet on that side, maybe a couple feet on this side, but uh, pretty good size here, but they've got you covered and then some with garage space. And there are camera systems throughout the house. Well, not throughout the house, but in the garages and the exterior. And also nice is the uh, hurricane impact windows all around and doors. And you do have a little bit of natural light coming through your garage there. So it does give you natural light. We'll cut over into the primary bedroom and bathroom. Jump in front of Karen here. Beautiful tile throughout. I know a lot of people are very unhappy with this slick type of tile. It seems to be the end thing. If you do a custom build, you definitely have the option of going with a plank or a different style of tile. But uh, everybody always comments on this type of tile. It's slick, it's this, it's that. Um, but if you do your own build, we can definitely sit down with the design center and any of the builders we work with and get you a floor that you like. Got some natural light coming through the transom here. We've got high ceilings, surround speakers, and a smoke detector as you're aware. Coming on into the primary closet. You've got a little bit of storage space here. And I think behind Karen, she's gonna have to manage it. We've got Closet number one with our built-in setup. 
as opposed to the wire that some builders throw in. And we've got another closet here. Karen's gonna do her best to navigate and stay off camera. We have the primary shower, dual shower heads on both sides, no rain shower. And we have two sinks with the larger mirrors that you can select to see all of your blemishes if you like. So that's off, but you've got definitely got choice there. So this way you're not bumping elbows with your partner. They're over there, you're over here, you're all set. And there is obviously a toilet in here, but you guys have seen many toilets in many of my videos. Nothing to write home about. It's not made of solid gold. Now, here is what we're calling either the man cave, you can have a poker room, a billiard room, a movie room, party room, whatever you so choose. So here we have the aforementioned party poker room, whatever you dub it as. Not really a mother-in-law suite because, I mean, there is no closet. Could you put a bed in here? Maybe. But I would say this would be used more as an entertaining area because it is off of your lanai and pool area. But definitely a nice space here. You could throw a big TV on this wall if you want. Watch the game, whatever you're into. European football, soccer, football, hockey, NBA, baseball. You've got your mini fridge set up here. Microwave. Plenty of cabinet space. Nice and chill in there. Now, what every, and, and you have a separate entrance. So if you do decide to have a poker game or watch a game, you can exit and enter everyone through this side door that we saw out front. Now, here's what everybody was raving about. Karen had posted a video on her social similar to this home, which went pending, but it does have, and hopefully this echo's not crazy for you guys. Move the mic. Here is your RV garage, boat garage, personal gym space, whatever you so choose to make it. This is your front of the house, and then this will come out into the backyard. So plenty of space, and then we'll show you guys the half bath here in a second. I apologize about the echo, but this is... Very appealing to a lot of buyers, endless storage, endless opportunities. If you're a car guy, you can easily put lifts in here, boat repair, whatever you would want to do. This can definitely handle it for you. And then you're given also a uh, small half bath right there. doing her best to avoid the mirror. Great work by Karen. I'm gonna take you guys to the pool area and lanai area. Close this door up. As you can see off of the bonus room, we'll call it, you can go out to the pool, but we're gonna cut through this way. Before we go out to the pool area, if you guys are still watching, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button to motivate me to bring you more home tour videos and feel free to hit that like button as well. So on the count of three, one, two, three, subscribe and let's take a look at the wonderful outdoor living space and pool area. As you can see, fenced backyard, it is 0.35 or 0.34 acres, I believe. And as usual, I'll go ahead and throw all of those specs down in the description box below. Plenty of space under truss, wired for surround sound, three separate fans to keep you cool when you're not in the pool, but this is what you're really wanting to be in here. Brick pavers, nice travertine around. Little sun, sh yeah, sun shelf action over on the far end of that pool. 
And if audio is still picking me up, which I think it should be, you've got your panoramic screens. And then also, as I mentioned, you've got your outside security system. So you can keep an eye on anything and everything that's going on. And then another set of speakers. And as I mentioned earlier, when we were in the RV garage, as you can see, it does go out to the backyard. I have seen some of these in the past where people have gone ahead and paved uh, right behind there. So they pull their boat through and they store their boat there if they're not on a Gulf Access Canal. So you have options with that setup. So I'm going to close this one out for you guys. I want to thank you for checking out today's home tour. As always, if you have any questions about this home, real estate in Southwest Florida or real estate in general, you want to call and talk, feel free, give me a call, shoot me a text. I'll put my number up on that screen. And again, I would appreciate it if you would go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'm Chris Jarzik with MVP Realty. Thank you for checking out today's video, and I will see you on the next one.